cold morning in Michigan. Uh, so we're going to continue the Stinson Stoll story here a little bit. It's been a while since we put out a Stinson Stoll video. It's been a while since we put out a video. There's been some uh, busy times in my life, and they're going to get less busy, I think, here soon. We added the micro VGs to this airplane. And we did that stall series in the beginning of the Stinson Stoll series. I'm going to go back up and do them with the VGs to see if there's a difference in uh, uh, actual stall speed or is it just, you know, uh, uh, deal with controllability. This airplane has uh, VGs on both the leading edge of the wing and then back on the tail. Aviation, the way it was meant to be. So on the Stinson, with the slots, the micro VGs go into the wells just a bit. And it was a good design on Micro's part. They ran uh, two more VGs up over the landing light so you didn't have to put VGs in the landing light lens. And then they bring it down uh, more toward the leading edge. These were installed exactly as the uh, STC wants them installed. No tricks, no movements, just, uh, just what Micro tells us to do. So, again, it was quick, easy, and the instructions are very clear. If you missed the first stall video, Click above to watch the stalls without the VGs first. All right, 360 at 8. I'm going to go on runway 27. That way, uh, the wind helps me with my uh, right rudder. Once you put the micro VG system on, the docile stair stall characteristics of the Stinson start to diminish. So that's something we're going to check today. We'll uh, see if it is as uh, gentle as it is uh, before the VGs were on, and then, uh, and then of course we can. We've got the camera up here checking the uh, stall speed. We'll be able to see exactly when it breaks and when it stalls. We'll be doing this at about the same altitude also. We should have some pretty good results. All right. No flap. And no flap. Well, that's not any worse than it was before. I got about 46, it looks like. We're recovered. Work gets too fast here. Let me go ahead and put one more notch in here. Let's see what we get there. That was a pretty easy stall. Power off. Forty. Covered. Yeah, these aren't. These don't seem to be any worse than they were with the. Uh, these are still pretty docile right here. Well, I mean, I don't know how it's going to be as power comes on. That's about the same of 40, 41. All right. So now let's go ahead. We're going to do this at 1500. Let's 
that's 30 indicated. Ooh, shoot, I got that. I hit on that. Cheated again, guys. I'm gonna cut myself out of that. It snapped a little harder than it did before. I've never seen this instant snap that hard. No excuse. Go ahead and try it about 17, 1800 here. Alright. In the forties, down there in the forties again. That's thirty indicated right there. So, this is slower. Without a doubt, slower. Alright, there we go. Besides some sloppy power off stalls with some ailerons, I guess, not too bad, huh? Alright, that's it! It, uh,. My initial rating says about five knot, five miles an hour. It was slower. I did not, I was not able to pull up those angle of attacks I remember before with these power settings. Uh, we'll compare the numbers though and give them to you on the video here. They worked. The micro VGs work. Anyone who says anything else hasn't done what I just did. Using the data from the previous stall series in our first stall video before the micro VGs were installed, we can see the VGs did reduce the stall speed by up to 10%. This should allow for an approach speed of up to 5 miles per hour slower, resulting in a shorter landing distance, making the VGs well worth the expense. Oakland, Troy Airport. Automated weather observation. One, four, three, four. Zulu weather wind three six zero at niner gust one four.